Hello and welcome to the Mega Man 1 solo playthrough. I would have had Lucky and E join me for this one, but I'm sure by what you've read in the beginning, uh, I messed up the footage, so I agreed to re-record the game. Anyways, uh, let's not waste any time here and get into this with Bomb Man. Let me find him in the uh, Robot Master field guide. Bomb Man. Number, Dr. Light number 006. Weapon, Hyper Bomb. Weakness, Fire Storm. By the way, here I'm uh, setting up my controls because I uh, messed them up. Now I've got your power! There we go. Uh, created by Dr. Light to demolish buildings and deem no longer necessary, Bomb Man carries out his duties using the explosive Hyper Bombs he is able to mysteriously create. In general, he tends to be fond of things that are showy or flashy. When he isn't working with Gutsman on construction jobs, Bombman likes to partake in a good game of bowling. Just don't expect him to find him near anyone who smokes. Matches and lighters are two things he prefers to stay away from. So yeah, this is Mega Man 1. It's the first of the series, and it shows. This is one of my least favorites. Not my least favorite, but it's 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 certainly up there. Th this game is not good. Let me be clear. At least in comparison to the other games, this game is rough. Uh. I don't know what a lot- I wanted to name all these enemies, too, but I don't know what half of them are called. <laughs> I don't even know what Bomb Man stage is supposed to be. What are those things in the background? Is this what people thought the future would look like? Uh, I think my first death is coming up here. So, in Mega Man 1, there is a momentum system. I don't know why, but Mega Man slides around when you stop running. And I, it, it, it leads to a lot of points where you slip off platforms. What did the fuck is past me doing? What the fuck was that? What did I hope to accomplish then? That right there is an extra life. You get it, and you get an extra- Oh, I love this Sniper Joe. Look at him. Holy shit. He is freaking the fuck out. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. Here's another one. This one is not nearly as wacky. But, uh... He's- he's, uh... What the fuck? Why isn't he dead? God damn it. <laughs> Uh, I recorded this yesterday. I recorded and edited this yesterday, so this is... It's supposed to be fresh in my memory. Oh, did you see that? I just cut, because I died to Bomb Man. <laughs> You're gonna see that a few times. I'll tell you when I die. I'll tell you the bosses I die to, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, for some levels, I'll, I'll edit it in, like, I'll show you all my deaths, but for, <laughs> for the bosses, I'll usually just cut out unnecessary death. So yeah, that's a bomb, man. Now, the weapon you get from him is Hyper Bomb, which I barely use because it sucks ass. But the boss that's up next is Guts Man. His number is Dr. Light number 004, his weapon is Super Arm, and his weakness is Hyper Bomb. Dr. Light endowed Gutsman with superhuman strength for the purpose of construction work, and as such, he's capable of carrying stones weighing in excess of two tons. His body is created from a special ally that is barely affected by small attacks, and he weighs so much that he can make the area around him shake when he lands from a jump. Ironically, he has often worked on construction projects alongside Bomb Man, whose bombs are capable of doing significant damage to his armor. Best Man is said to be very sensitive emotionally, yet he overflows with a manly spirit and enjoys karaoke. Even so, he has a quick temper and dislikes reasoning. Word is that he's actually good friends with Stone Man. Interestingly enough, Dr. Wily seems to have a certain fascination with Gutsman's strength. 
After reprogramming and using Gutsman as in, in his initial uprising, Wario would, would later use Gutsman's design as the basis for his Guts Tank weapon, as well as a build an even bigger, stronger version of the Mighty Robot himself, which he dubbed G Gutsman G. We're not going to be seeing that until Mega Man 7. Guts Tank is in uh, Mega Man 2, though, which we've already recorded, so hopefully you should be seeing that go up not too long after this video. Uh, that, those are the Guts platforms. That's the only time they appear in this stage, and we won't be seeing them again for quite a while, so... These are Picket Men? I don't know what the fuck those flying guys are called. To me, they look like they have teeth. I can't be the only one who sees that, right? They look like they have teeth. You can, you can, god, I fucking hate these guys. Oh, I forgot to mention it earlier, Mega Man 1 has a uh, glitch with spikes. Uh, commonly referred to as the spike glitch. Uh, where invulnerability frames cannot save you from spike damage. This is fixed in Mega Man 2, thankfully, but it's it it's not that huge of a problem here, admittedly. But it, 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 my first death was because of it, so yeah. These are uh, big eyes, I think is what they're called. They take a third of your health whenever they hit you, so don't do what I do and try to fight them. Just fucking move on. You're not gonna kill one. <laughs> Well, I do kill one later, but I think it's the only one I kill in the entire game. Those little guys on the floor- Oh, I cut again, because I died the guts, man. Uh, but those guys on the floor are... Metars? Metools? Mets? I don't know. I, I feel like every time I see them anywhere, their name changes. Uh, yeah, this is Gutsman himself. He's... Very, you have to get lucky to beat him. We're not, you don't have to get lucky, but it, to use <laughs> for his weakness to actually hit, you need to get pretty lucky. Uh, I believe up next is Cutman, so let me find that in the Robot Master Field Guide. I know this isn't very professional, by the way, but uh, Duo's in this, it's cool. Thought it was only the one. Then again, base isn't here, so I should have seen that one coming. Where the fuck is Gut Cutman? By the way, if anybody really knows how the there is, if anybody really knows how the clear point system works, please tell me, because I have no fucking clue. These, yeah, these, these, these fuck, these flying fuckers. They're the most annoying enemies in the game. I have no idea what they're called. Uh, yeah, I don't know what these wall dicks, dick wall. <laughs> the cockablaster? I don't know what to call those. Walter? Are they just called turds or something? Anyways, Cutman. Dr. Light number 003. His weapon is the rolling cutter and his weakness is the super arm. Cutman was created by Dr. Light to be a timber felling robot. and is able to use a large, strong cer cer ceramic titanium shears on his head to cut enormous trees in two with little effort. His main combat move, the Rolling Cutter, sees him detach those same shears from his head and hurl them like a boomerang at his target. He was constructed with a light, nimble body and, a, and foot hooks that allow him to operate in stor even in stormy weather. Sorry about my reading skills, by the way. I'm fucking- I just got up, so... <laughs> Cutman is said to look up the preceding Dr. Light number Mega Man like an older brother, but despite his sharp mind, he has a tendency to not listen to others. He is a fan of Kirigami, a Japanese paper cutting and folding technique, but dislikes the game Rock, Paper, Scissors, because scissors is the only move he can throw. <laughs> I think these guys are called Octos or something? Octo is in their name. I think. Oh my god! Fuck it, help. For context, this is the third time I've played- Th This recording is the third time I've played through Mega Man 1 in quick succession, or at least a version of it. Because we just- we got done doing Powered Up right before this. Because we figured we- Because normally we, I, we don't do solo stuff. Uh, 
we, 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 we do it together. Me, Lucky, and Neil join in for a game, but I messed up the Mega Man 1 recording, so I, I decided I'd do it again. And because of that, I'm allowed to make edits. <laughs> Which was probably a mistake, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. So, I don't know any of these fucking enemies, dude. I forget all their names. Those, I don't, those, those a lot of this game just confuses me looking back on it. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, this is, this is my third time playing Mega Man 1. First time was when we recorded initially and the recording got messed up. Second time is powered up. This, and this is the third time where I'm doing it solo. Uh, I'm trying to think, dude. This is not very interesting to watch, honestly. Mega Man One is the least interesting of the Mega Man games. Holy shit! It's my, it's my first. It's me attempting to use Hyper Bomb. Show off. It might have. It does. It doesn't work, by the way. I also got hit, like the frame I paused or something, because I unpaused and I took the damage, and had the invulnerability frames. All the enemies in this game are very robotic, which makes sense because they're all robots, but it's uh, it's something they don't bring back for later Mega Man, or they do bring back sometimes, but a lot of the games in the later Mega Man games are very cute, and I like that. I'm not, I'm not complaining, I think that's great. But now we're at Cutman himself, who is, um, well, one, two. Cutman is not that hard, if you have his weakness. And it's around here, I think, because I'm halfway through the Robot Masters, that I take a break? There's a cut here somewhere. Yeah, I took a break here. There's a small audio thing. Uh, up next is Elecman. Elecman is probably my favorite in this game in terms of design, but I hate his stage and I hate actually fighting him, so... Elecman, Dr. Light number 008. His weapon is the Thunder Beam and his weakness is the Rolling Cutter. Feel the power of my Thunder Beam. I don't usually read that out. Anyways. <laughs> Said to be among the greatest industrial robots built by Dr. Light, Electman was created to manage the electrical output of a nuclear power plant. His high movement speed and sharp judgment served him well to that end. Electman can also discharge intense bolts of electricity through the use of his Thunderbeam ability, which has been used to short out countless robots, but it can only produce half the voltage of Sparkman. In battle, Electman's were Electman remained in a class of his own symbol because of his Thunder Beam's attack power is so high, and it's one of the most dangerous weapons Mega Man has ever encountered. Electman has a strong, innate sense of duty, even though he tends to be rather uncooperative. He also enjoys singing, especially when he's backed by a guitar. He has a particular disdain forever for products made from rubber. Oh, by the way, these guys... The, uh, the uh, I, 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 I'm trying to use Rolling Cutter on them? Don't do that. Just shoot them with your buster. They'll, they'll, they'll die before they can shoot at you. And these are the first appearance of the Yoku Blocks. Uh, Yoku Blocks are probably the most recurring gimmick in the Mega Man games. If I had to take a guess. I think they appear in every single one. Right? I don't... I don't know. I'm starting to think they don't appear in Mega Man 8. And I don't like Mega Man 8. I'm gonna speed this section up, by the way, just you, don't worry. I, you just have to see my fucking ineptitude firsthand with this. There we go, we got up there. Now you made me wonder, you said you are gonna speed it up, but you didn't speed it up. Just watch, just watch. Just fucking see what I do next. Yep, here we go. Don't worry, this won't be the only time I'm speeding things up. I'll do it whenever there's something that's not necessary to, uh, watch through. Uh, yeah, we're, we're... 
Now, like main stage itself is not that hard, honestly, but it's very stressful. My advice is to just take your time. Like main stage, uh, exactly what I mean. <laughs> well, it's not exactly what I mean. My fucking head hit the roof and I fell, but just, just, just be patient. Jesus Christ, don't rush it like I'm doing. Oh shit, I dodged those two things. I mean, I'm gaming on them. Oh god, oh, we're, nearing, we're nearing the point where I grind for health and weapon energy, but don't actually get anything out of it. Because you don't need that much cut energy to uh, beat Cutman. Yep, here it is. I think, no, it's one screen of health. Oh no, it's one screen above this. This is the magnet beam. Uh, this is required to beat the game, so either make sure you revisit this stage after you beat a lag man, or beat Guts Man first. Because otherwise, you'll be unable to beat the game. I Why did I switch back to the Mega Buster? Why didn't I just switch back to Rolling Cutter? Oh, there's the cut, because I was grinding for help them up in energy. And also, if you go back down, it respawns. Anyways, yeah, just gonna skip through that. No point in watching me grind for weapon energy. I might have gotten a little health out of it. <laughs> Here. Dumbass move. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. Just, like I said, patience. <laughs> Past me was wanted to get this playthrough done and over with. Which I think will show up more later in the playthrough, trust me. You'll, you'll see what I mean there. Uh, you have to forgive my borderline just fucking... Just... I, I do not like Mega Man 1. This is far from my favorite. I hate this game. Oh, I fell back down. God damn it. Uh, another big eye. Just l do what I did there. Just run under them. And here is the hallway before Elect Man. Electricity. I guess. I don't fucking know, man. This is the only game that really has enemies in the boss doors. I don't know. I'm glad they didn't bring it back. Because I'm pretty sure the boss doors are there to serve as a checkpoint, you know? But, like... I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I, it, it's just it's just something I don't know like, why they did. Anyways, this is the Lech Man. He's pretty easy if you have his weakness, but he's one of the hardest bosses in the game if you don't. Because his Elect Beam deals a lot of damage. Either way, he is fucking dead. So now it's time for Iceman. Let's hope past me gives me enough time to find him in the field guide. I recommend you buy the Roman Master field guide if you're a fan of Mega Man, by the way. This is such a fucking cool resource to have. Iceman, Dr. Light number 005. His weapon is the Ice Slasher and his weakness is the Thunder Beam. Iceman which is, was originally created by Dr. Light to explore Arctic areas whose freezing temperatures proved too harsh for humans to handle, but once those missions were completed, he was instead used to transport goods to cold storage warehouses. He is said to be selfish and a bit of a show-off, and while he enjoys snowball fights, he does not take well to losing. In addition, he seems to in harbor an intense dislike for saunas, fortunately for him, his ice slasher is negative 200 degrees Celsius and can freeze anything. During the Battle and Chase Racing Tournament, Iceman exhibited a certain affinity for Roll. What a fucking weirdo. What a dumbass. What an idiot. Oh yeah. Basically, throughout the entirety of the stage, I attempted to perform a glitch I have no idea how to actually perform, uh, where you jump into uh, the roof of Ice Commit, or you can jump into the uh, top of the screen, 
and just wiggle yourself up there. And eventually, the game is supposed to break, but it never did that for me, because I'm an idiot, and I don't know what I'm doing. I might show that off in a bonus video, who knows. Also, I switched to the magnet beam here. Don't do that. But yeah, I'm skipping through actually doing it. I'm skipping through all my failed attempts. You get to see the, uh, you get to see the one that was successful. There you go. And for this section is our first use of the magnet beam. Because fuck doing this one legitimately. I also think I die here? Oh, I'm still trying to perform the glitch. Yeah. Magnet Beam is super useful. It's absolutely the most useful weapon in the game. Okay, I thought I died there, but apparently I just fucking... Oh hey, an extra life. I will hold left, and I will hold left while falling down this to get a what the fuck. I don't know what happened there, but I w <laughs> it, it, while recording, I can confirm I was holding left, and I just fell straight through that. So... Fuck me, I guess. Don't do what I'm doing. Don't be a dumbass like me. Now we're actually getting the Iceman himself, who is also pretty easy. His pattern is very simple. Like, a lot of the other bosses were easy because you, you could just kill them faster than they could actually deal any damage to you. Here, I don't think Iceman's gonna deal any damage to you anyways. His attacks are really easy to dodge. But now that Iceman is dead, we're moving on to the final of the, uh, of the Robot Masters. And who is, in my opinion, probably my favorite. Or he, he's up there. He's. I like his design. I like his sprite work. I like his. I like his stage, how it looks. But I don't like playing through it. It's pretty short though. Fireman, Doctor Light number zero zero seven. His weapon is the firestorm, and his weakness is the ice slasher. Dr. Light devised Fireman for the purpose of waste disposal. Utilizing his Firestorm ability, he can easily produce and manage flames as hot as 8,000 degrees Celsius. His personality is said to be fiery as the flames he creates are both hotly passionate and blazingly temp 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 tempestuous. You have to forgive my lack of word knowledge. I'm a fucking... I play Mega Man games all day. I'm not like an English major. <laughs> but yeah. Fireman enjoys camping, but naturally dislikes rainy days. In addition, the clash between their respective elements and personalities mean that he does not like- He does not get along especially well with fellow Dr. Light member, Iceman. Um, I haven't been paying attention to the game, honestly. I do not like this game. <laughs> I know I've said that a lot, but I might as well talk about what's actually going on here. Fireman stage is filled with tackle fires and these red pillars of flame, which you can freeze with ice beam, actually, or ice slasher. I'm not doing that here, but I will be doing it later, because I believe it's required. Or it's not required, but it makes the section way easier. But yeah, you got lava, you got tackle fires, you got sideways fire, you got rising fire, you just got the whole shebang? I don't know what to call it, man. I just wanna- I wanna play Mega Man 9. This game's not fun. Welcome to this room. I hate this room. <laughs> and I hate it so much, I'm not even going to be bothering. See ya, idiot. Dumbass. Moron. <laughs> uh, I think I get my ass kicked pretty hard in this room. 
Because I attempt a glitch that doesn't work with these enemies, where you freeze them and then you off-screen them and they don't respond. But it doesn't work with these guys. I'm thinking of a, uh... I'm thinking of the ball guys from Cutman stage. I didn't even read out the plot of this fucking game. Hold on a second. Let me read out the manual of this game, because it's really fucking... First, let me give you the actual plot. The year is 20XX, and Dr. Light has created six robots to help with various industrial purposes, which I've already read out. <laughs> uh, but Dr. Wily, in a fit of jealousy that Dr. Light is getting all this press and attention, uh, kidnaps and reprograms the uh, six robots and turns them, turns them into robots of mass destruction. Rock, uh, Dr. Light's robot son? Offers to be turned into a battle robot to go stop them and then Mega Man was born And now we're actually at Fireman whose pattern is so erratic. I think without the pause glitch I think it is just impossible to not get hit by him Look at this You might have noticed I just brought up the pause glitch Now For most of this playthrough I do attempt to to refrain from using it, but I do use it at two specific points, and I think you can already guess what one of those is, and it's coming up. Anyways, all of these six bosses are down. Now it's time for Dr. Wily himself. Dr. Wily, uh, he gets in his UFO, and he leaves, and goes away. He's gone. Welcome to the Wily Stages, a gauntlet fortress. During the Wily Stages, your weapon energy is not refilled once you can beat the bosses. It stays constant throughout, so you have to be very careful about when and where you use your weapons. <laughs> you can't get- you, you, you have to freeze them a little higher than that. Yeah, that was about expected. Fun fact, you can also destroy these guts block with Elect Beam, which I will be demonstrating in a second. Oh, this section. Yep, just do that. It's the easiest way out of there. So anyways... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, that, that, fuck that hallway. <laughs> Here's where I demonstrate that the Elect Beam can be used to destroy Guts Blocks. Oh, right, I have to find the American Manual. Uh, let me just fucking go to Google. Mega Man American Manual. Because I remember this being really funny. Premier Worldwide Arcade Game Designer, Capcom. Game Pack Instructions. Where's the story? The Mega Man story. It's Mega Man versus the powerful leaders and fighting forces of Monsteropolis, that strange multi multifaceted land of robot-like human humanoids. Brilliant scientist Dr. Wright conceived the construction of fully operational human-like experimental weapons to perform specific everyday duties. Dr. Wright and his assistant, Dr. Wily, encouraged with their very first near-human robot, Mega Man, proceeded to develop six additional humanoids, all programmed to perform the prescribed rituals. Uh, I'm not going to be reading those out. Uh, but with the exception of Mega Man, all, all of Dr. Wright's near-human robot experimentation went awry. Assistant Dr. Wily turned disloyal, reprogramming Dr. Wright humanoids, now bent on destroying opposing <laughs> opposition so Dr. Wily can control the world and its resources. Resisting reprogramming, Mega Man has chosen the defender of the universe and its inhabitants. Mega Man dares to single-handedly penetrate seven separate empires of Monsteropolis, eliminating the leaders and following and followers of their s so Look, I don't know how to read this shit. <laughs> Get ready for some very exciting challenges. And that music tells me we're at the first usage of the pause glitch, technically the second as well because I missed the first time, this is the Yellow Devil, and I thought I had his pattern memorized, but I didn't. I didn't at all. 
Yep, see? Anyways, just do this. Fucking... Um, this guy is definitely possible without doing it. But it's so hard. It's not worth it. <laughs> mm. So yeah. That is... That is a yellow double down. Can it go to the next state? Okay, thank you. Just gonna let this part speak for itself. So yeah. <laughs> I feel a strange sense of deja vu. I feel like something's about to happen. I'm not foreshadowing, and you can't say otherwise. It's Kung Fu Cutman! Kung Fu Cutman! He's dead. So yeah, we're going to be refighting each of these six Robot Masters. Not all of them in this stage, but eventually we're going to have to fight all of them. So who's next? Oh shit! It's, uh, it's Elecman! I forgot his name! I was about to say Cutman, but we killed Cutman. There we go. Oh, I should probably warn you, those projectiles still deal damage after they're dead. So don't, like, jump into the... In like celebration, you will die. <laughs> so yeah, and now we head further down into Wily's fortress to discover bullshit enemy placement. It's not bad here, but I'll I'll, I'll show you where it gets bad. Anyways, I'm gonna get this extra life because it meant zero, and I don't want to have the game over. Because I'm I'm not beating the uh, the boss of the stage with the health I'm at. This one's not as bad. Oh, I'll tell you where I don't like the enemy placement. I think it's yeah, it's right here. You drop down, you will get hit there. Also, the Octo guys are blue in this stage. Fall down here, and this is the pre-boss hallway. Ow. Oh, I cut again, because I died to the, uh, copy robot. Oh, I spoiled who- okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much. It, fucking everybody has played Mega Man 1 at this point. This is the copy robot. He is a quote-unquote exact copy of Mega Man, but he deals way more damage to you than you deal to him. But I have a foolproof strategy for defeating him. Just shoot him. Just keep shooting him. I don't know what I did to his AI, but he, like, barely ever shot at me when I did this. Now he's dead. Woo! Copy Robot's fucking dead! Now we go on to the next Wily stage! Yeah! Woo! So the next Wily stage is probably the shortest one. Uh, yeah, this is the shortest one. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Wily's, like, fucking toilet? Is this where Wily shits? I don't fucking know, man. I'm not doing a no damage run. I don't even know why I'm bothering. <laughs> so, yeah. We're, we're nearing the end of the game. 
we're at Dr. Wily's final line of defense before we're at like second to last final of defense. Anyway, just run through here, it doesn't matter. My favorite weapons in this game are Firestorm and Elect Beam. Firestorm is just a direct upgrade to the Buster, and Elect Beam shoots in three directions. Uh, then again, Cutman's weapon can also destroy certain enemies that uh, the other two cannot. So, uh, the weapons in Mega Man 1 aren't that bad, but some of them like definitely just don't find much use. Like, um, Guts, Guts Arm, Hyper Bomb, they're just too situational. Also, yeah, this this is the strategy I'm using to not get hit here. You'd be surprised at how well it works. But now we're at the boss, and... Cut? Yep, I cut. This is the CWU-01P, I believe? Uh, his weakness is the Guts Arm. Why am I using Firestorm? Because I wanted to see if it dealt any extra damage. It does not. Elect Beam does not deal any extra damage either. I checked. I died to him once. Just bust through the sky for the first few rounds, otherwise you won't be able to avoid getting hit by him. But I'm on very low health. One. Two. Three. And there we go! CW zero, CW... U-01P is down. Now we move on to the final of the Wily stages. Welcome to Wily stage 4. I'm very low on everything, but I'm going to go up this ladder, and I'm going to... As I was saying, I have all weapon energy back, I never died here, and I'm going to kick Wily's ass. <laughs> Welcome to Wily Stage 4. This is where I discover you can just bust for those guys, by the way. Don't get that weapon energy, by the way. It does not drop if you get all those guts of logs. So the only weapon you can reasonably get to it with is Magnet Beam. And there's a section coming up where you might want Magnet Beam a little more. Also, it, I, it already said it in the uh, field guide, but look how look at Wily's like obsession with guts, man. There's so fucking many of them here. Like, are those statues or are those real guts men? So yeah, the Guts platforms are back. They're gray this time. Well, the platform is red, but uh, yeah. Oh! That didn't happen. Down there is the Yasishi. Now, I didn't have to game over here because the Yasishi fills all health and weapon energy completely up. But it's Bomb Man. Look at him. He's back! I don't know what happened there. You saw the shield show up, but the, the firestorm itself didn't actually show up. Kind of weird. Kind of... It kind of sus. But it's Fireman. How other will I defeat him with this low health? Easy. See ya! It's Iceman! Will I use the pause glitch on him, too? No. I don't. That's the last use of the pause glitch for this video. Just jump over his last one, and walk to the left. Who could it be next? It's Gutsman! I would've put in the actual sound effect, but it's too much work. But it looks like he's gonna defeat me. Oh no, whatever will I do? Whatever will I do against him? That didn't happen. He died. The end. 
So that's all the final Robot Masters. Who's the- who's next? Who could it be? <gasps> A weapon energy pickup! <laughs> and now it's time we face off against the Big Bad himself. Dr. Wally. This is the Wily machine- and I'm dying to him because I don't have full health. This... is the Wily machine. The next step in robotics? It's not really a robot. It's a machine. It's it's it it's 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 an it's what's the term? A vehicle? I guess it would be a vehicle. Wily has to pilot it, right? I don't know. Anyways, his first form weakness is Firestorm, and his second form I don't believe has a weakness. I think everything deals one damage per hit, but some things hit multiple times. So just use cut storm, cut, rolling cutter for his second phase and you'll be fine. Or you should be fine. I don't know, I wasn't fine the uh, first time I did it, as you can see by the death I added it in. But it looks like Wily is down. And that is the end of Mega Man 1. It's not the worst game in the series, but it's close enough to where I still don't play it very often. So yeah, Wily is down. Let me actually find his page in the field guide, because I believe he has one. And to those of you familiar with the later games, this song might sound a little familiar to you. Who am I fucking kidding? It's the Mega Man 2 opening one! <laughs> you fucking know what it is, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dr. Wiley. Born in America, Dr. Albert W. Wiley was a student of the Robot Institute of Technology alongside Dr. Light, where the two would work together to create a series of humanoid robots. However, while the two geniuses were both respond- I'm not gonna read this out. Fucking buy the Robot Master Field Guide. Read it out yourself. Pay Capcom money so I can see more of these games. Final thoughts. Fuck this game. <laughs> this game's- Ass! This game's shit. This game's poo poo. This game makes me wanna fucking die. But as the sun sets, we get to see Mega Man's true form. Boy! Also, he has a fucking weird haircut that I don't like. He looks like Astro Boy. I prefer his Mega Man 2 one, in all honesty. <laughs> Yuki Chan's Papa. I don't know who that is. But it's Dr. Light and the role! Who I haven't mentioned up to this point, except when I was talking about Iceman. But yeah, that's the end of the playthrough target. This is the Pepsi test. <laughs> the Pepsi test. Holy fucking shit. Your mic like compensated for that and you like turned into like a robot. <laughs> Alright, I'm sending it in the server.